next one. Thipse and Prat Hamash. Hamesh? Prat Hamesh. Okay. Yeah, it might not work. Um, all right, let's take a look at this one. So stock mates on F7. Okay, let's take a look. So bishop takes. King takes. Queen take here, but then we have this, which stops. Okay. Maybe instead, my mouse is kind of going nuts right now. Here, but then the king just tucks itself back again, and we don't really get anything out of it. So bishop takes, king takes. Knight takes e4. Okay, sure. If rook takes, and we get this. Yeah, that's a fork of Reno. Okay, yeah, we get that. I feel like that's a good spot. That's probably the best way to play it. Okay. Okay, now queen here. Now how do we best solve this problem? So, knight here. Here, queen here threatens checkmate. This is forced, I believe. Here, check moves back. Here, and then we don't have anything else. Doesn't work. Rook f1, yeah, that either one of these rooks to f1 also seems tempting but then what's the follow-up he just moves back wait a second wait a second so what about here moves back When he goes back, ah, uh, this is here. So what about this? So here's a check. Ah, he still has this, so I don't think, he, yeah, that's not gonna fly, I don't think. So what I was thinking was here, and he moves, you know, if he moves back, well, he, yeah, that's not gonna work either, he takes check and then if you moved back there's this check but the Queen's protected so it doesn't really work because there's double protection on the Queen maybe Knight d6 yeah I mean maybe I think maybe that's just the winning the pawn right like just go here, 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 and then takes, and then we're in this end game, and we're up a piece. No, just up a pawn. I just a pawn, yeah. All right, I mean, I think that's the best play, right? 
Doesn't like it. Wow. Why not? Yeah, I, I don't. I didn't like it either. But we're running out of time. Well, let's try Rook F1. All right, it likes that. Oh, so maybe we can do this. Doesn't like that. That's what I thought for sure, too. Yeah, I mean, that's totally winning, right? Maybe we take with the <laughs> anger. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Like these are not these are not simple puzzles. They are hard, but I can feel myself getting so much stronger but when I work on them um hmm there's got to be something more here right like what is it there's geometry here we can win another pawn maybe yeah you know I'm seeing that too but this is on pre so I mean if he blocks this way he won't because that's a take so here and then what he's got to move the king right he can either come here or here and then we get this it's a little scary, right? Plus queen takes h7, yeah. All right, I'm, I like this idea. It's an alternative. What? Come on, buddy. <laughs> Ooh, frustration for sure. Um, okay. What's the deal? What do you need? Can we have, um, yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, uh, the ones on the counter? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. So you think here and here. Mm. Yeah, I could send them. I mean, we have this and this, or I mean this and then this. Doesn't like that either. Maybe it's night here with the idea of bringing the rook in. Ah, uh, cause then we have this too. What? I already got one more try before this is gonna hurt us. Maybe we just take the queen. Right, like, then what? Doesn't like that either. What? Queen to g4? Why? Why, why, why? What's the deal with that? I'm confused. Congratulations, one hour. Black's position is in ruins. Rook to d6 is a threat. Oh, you're pro you're not protecting the knight. Oh, I see. Yeah. Then the queen can come in, and it's protected. This is chessable. You can uh, do exclamation point chessable, and you'll get a link to the course. Yeah, forcing chess moves. Um, it's pretty. 
I mean, this is one that pretty much everybody's said to do. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we got the idea here. Okay, these these moves made sense. These next moves do do not kind of make sense. I mean, that one kind of does. This is tough. Um, I mean, it's only a four move sequence, but to see that from here, to visualize, I mean, seeing each one of those moves, not super difficult, but trying to visualize how this would look from this position going to this final position and being like, okay, evaluation wise, uh, white is totally winning here. That's, that's tough. This is definitely stretching my capabilities, um, which is good. You know, um, it seems as though it's stretching other people's as well. Um, and I know, 444 is definitely like a tactical super wizard. So I don't feel so bad for missing some of these because he's struggling as well. Um, yeah, these are hard, man. Uh, they're getting really difficult. All right, let's take a look at another one. Uh, Iber Bragimov versus Kalijin. Even a rook may sometimes play a temporary sacrifice on F7. Okay, so let's see here. We have this geometry against this pawn and this. So I feel like here, actually here, takes, takes, takes. If he goes here, check and we've won two pawns for the bishop and a rook up oh, a rook and a yeah i don't know that doesn't seem to work yeah um some of these are these are harder because there's like a combination of not just tactics um yeah i believe the start is rook takes and then okay queen b7 and then follow up with bishop yeah because here's this and this and then this and then we win a rook for a rook and a pawn right yeah that one was a pretty it was a much easier one to see they, they want you to look at tactics like I was starting to look at, but this is a little bit of an easier one. So they shoot you a big, strong, hard one, and then they give you one that's a little bit simpler. Um, that's an interesting move. Lots of tactics. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't like bringing your queen and your rook into the you know, the seventh rank. Given F7's proximity, proximity to the center, uh, it isn't surprising that many stock shots there result in central breakthroughs. So, we have ideas of corridor mate stuff if we can get him stuck here. But they've got this under lock and key. So check. He comes back here. This is hard one. Knight 
to e4 followed by rook takes d7. So if we play here, here, okay, even Steven. This is under attack, this square, but he just comes back. And then what? If f5, then rook takes d8 or knight e6. So here, here, here f5, rook takes d8, check, rook takes d8, it's messy. The idea is sacrificing here at some point. He's not going to play f5. I feel like we have to, it's either, I feel like it's got to be immediate. And then one of these types of moves, I feel like this is the place to start, really. I could be wrong, but. So here, 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 here. So you think knight e4, rook takes d7 after knight takes. Okay. I think here, here, here. And I don't think that can be stopped. Running out of time, got to make a decision. It's going to tell, it's going to fail me. What is it? What do you think? We got like 20 seconds. Knight d4, knight takes e4, knight, rook d7, knight f7, rook e7, rook e e7. All right, let's give it a go. It does not like knight e4. Incorrect. Let's try mine. All right, that's one way. So far, so good. So far, so good. Now what? So I thought this move here, which seems to be legit, but I did not see this move coming. Oh, wait, hang on, boom. So there's that option. Yeah, I see 96. Is that the only thing though? I feel like that's probably the way to go, but then this is, it's kind of even. Oh, we're up a pawn though. I'm gonna go with my original idea. It, it didn't like my original idea. Let's try the other one. Okay, so I was pretty close. Um, I did see that move. Didn't see it in the beginning of the calculation, but saw it in the second part. Um, oh, idea, yeah, idea because once he moves, he's gonna get either a discovery or he's gonna be pinned. Yeah, perfect. 
All right, very good. So we kind of, I got the first part of that and then caught the second part and you, you calculated the second part much faster than I did. That was good. You vetoed the line too soon. Didn't see the knight be able to defend the rook. Yeah. Yeah, I, this part is hard to see. Like, uh, this bishop pin is, is hard to see after that. And you have to see it from, like, back here. So, um... Oh, even back for you have to see it from here. So that that's hard because that's I mean though that's only a three move combination. Um, seeing the next move and a half is challenging. This calculation this calculation is pretty pretty hard because uh, seeing through these three pieces, this visualization of this position um, from back here. And because there's two pieces in the way of that pin that you just kind of, they're tough to just get them out of your brain. Like visually, it's tough to replace and move these two pieces knowing that the king would be pinned uh, from the beginning of that, I believe, which is why it's, it's hard to see. But sometimes figuring these... Um, these harder puzzles out, you only need to catch the first part. So I saw this and I thought I didn't see the knight takes until I was in this position. Um, I saw the pin. What I didn't see was the knight coming back to F6, blocking me being able to take the knight. Um, but once you're here, so if you can calculate to this spot from the beginning, you can usually try to be like, okay, that's okay. And in this position, I feel like this is pretty good already because we're up that pawn. And now it's not hard to find this next part, so. Yeah, yeah, I, I, feel, I feel the same way. Like, um, you, you, I think, Part of the issue is you got on this idea of knight to e4 with this sacrifice here, but um, there is something in there where you're calculating, thinking that that is the way. And for some reason, this move you just you you're, like you said you vetoed it, but why? Why did you dismiss it so quickly? And, and I caught it as the right variation right away. That's what's interesting about chess, like uh, like how one person will see this line and be like, oh yeah, this looks good, but you saw this line and was like, man, I don't know. I don't think it does um, to me because the knight ends up going, this knight's out on e4 then, which is attacking this rook. So the position completely, completely changes. Um, and I'm not sure exactly where the defense is and may, we'd probably have to put it on a different board to see why. That's the one thing chessable doesn't really allow you to do is like, sometimes they give you lines but they don't tell you why it doesn't work. like. I think knight e4 is a logical candidate move because it both attacks the knight and the rook with the sacrifice down here. But I think maybe the idea is that it just doesn't gain any further um, attack on the king. I mean, it does somewhat, but the knight, the knight on uh, d8 is protecting the f7 pawn so there's not much you can do unless you sacrifice the rook again and then your attack against the king is kind of foiled right I think that's the idea behind this puzzle and in this position we've won a clear pawn and we still have an initiative 